the Inga stone ancient carvings. Are these messages of ancient astronauts from space? Intricate, mysterious hieroglyphs. Extraterrestrial contact. Rationalists usually try to explain the existence of the stone in a river in Brazil and the symbols that are carved onto it. Most researchers find it difficult to interpret the designs on this. It's located in the middle of the Inga River, not far from the Brazilian city of Inga, and it's one of the most interesting archaeological finds in Brazil. It's also called the Italian, which means stone of the language of the locals who lived in this area. It's a vertical construction, 46 meters long, up to 3.8 meters high, 46 is 50, 150 feet long by about 12 feet high, covering an area of 250 square meters. This, their uh, celestial phenomena could be that they are showing constellations depicting, uh, depicted on the surface, making one of the oldest astronomical records found in Brazil. Many drawings have been carved on it, which even today are awaiting to be deciphered. These images show animals and other unknown elements, but the most important are the galaxy that we are in, the uh, Milky Way galaxy, and also the constellation of Orion. According to research, this archaeological site dates back to at least 6,000 years. Now, the Inca Stone, message of the ancient astronauts from space, is that what it is? No one knows how, by whom, or what motivated the inscriptions on this rock. Various sources claim that the Petra image is of the Phoenician origin. Could it be from ancient astronauts from space? A series of stone engravings speak of a border war, quote unquote, between two rulers, while another series describes a terrible volcanic eruption the ashes of which reach the shores of the Atlantic. Some researchers have suggested that the Inca stone is evidence of extraterrestrial contact. Brazilian researcher Gabriel Ballard Baraldi, who has spent a long time studying the cryptographic messages of the stone of the Inca, according to his theory, states that this is proof of an unknown ancient technology. Archaeologists also say that the engravings on the stone were made with incredible precision and the evidence reveals a wonderful technique used by very experienced artists who were certainly very gifted and able to create them. Researchers also suggest that Native Americans did not have metal tools to record stone engravings to etch them like this and some speculate that the engravings were made by Phoenicians or Easter Island natives. The symbols of the Inca stone show to some extinct extent stylistic similarities with the symbols found on Easter Island in terms of geometry and style, but this is the only similar similarity found between them, even if one can find similarities in geometric shapes between the Inca stone and other ancient civilizations, they do not necessarily show a connection between them. And this is on the other stick. I've translated this again from a Greek article. Please let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.